I want to introduce something called structural isomers. What these are structural isomers, an isomer means all of these molecules have the same number of carbons and hydrogens. I started off with a seven carbon chain, and this is an alkane heptane. It has, let's count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A, a C, seven, H, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. In fact, alkanes, these simple alkanes have a formula, CN, H, two, N plus two. So C is seven, two times seven, 14 plus two. It's actually, they follow that form, they follow that formula, we don't care. Now, this is heptane. I can also two methyl hexane. Six, two methyl hexane. It has, and you can check it, it has the same number of carbons and hydrogens. So does, this is, this is two methyl hexane. So does three methyl hexane. So does two, three dimethyl pentane and two, two dimethyl pentane and 2,4-dimethylpentane, and here we have 3,3-dimethylpentane. We have here, let's do this one. This is 5,5-pentane. This is 3-ethylpentane, and this last one, this butane, it is 2,2,3-trimethylbutane. These all have seven carbons, and 16 hydrogens, so they're called structural isomers, meaning they have, that's all it means is it has the same number of carbon and hydrogen. And you can see though, they are all quite different. This is a, this is a heptane, this is a hexane, hexane, pentane, 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 butane. They're different, they behave differently. While alkanes are similar, if I just move even just, instead of having, for instance, what we have here, this is 2-methyl hexane and 3-methyl, they'll be similar, but they're still gonna have slightly different properties just on the position. But these are all structural isomers. So I want you to try that. Start with C7H16. How many different ways can you draw these structural isomers? That's it.